Hello Leo, welcome to your reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. Now, this reading is going to hold true for the middle 10 days of April, which is from the 10th to the 20th. And I'm going to try and keep these short. The first 10 days of April, the readings I did were incredibly long and I cannot sustain that. So let's keep this as short as we can. All right. We have two signs. We have Taurus and we have Pisces. So you may have these heavily in your chart or you could be dealing with somebody who's a Taurus or a Pisces. But what is beautiful is we have a lot of signs who are dabbling about in these two signs right now. A lot of planets, I'm sorry. Uh, we have um, Mars entering Pisces on the 14th. We have the two rulers of Pisces, Jupiter and Neptune, conjuncting on the 12th. And as for Taurus, we have the Sun entering uh, Taurus on the 19th. And we also have Mercury entering Taurus on the 10th. So I feel like with these two cards showing up, you are in tune. You are in tune with the planetary alignments. You're in tune with the energy being presented to the collective. With Pisces, I feel like you are being very empathetic. You're trusting your intuition. You are dealing with people in a very harmonious way. You are almost absorbing their energy and reflecting it back to them. And this could mean two things. You, you are mirroring people in the sense if someone is being kind and generous, you are giving them the same kind of energy. If someone is being nonchalant and indifferent, you are giving the same kind of energy. With Taurus showing up, I feel like you are being very grounded. You are focusing on your material wealth of course and you are also focusing on nurturing yourself because taurus rules the body so let's see and with cultivate i feel like you're investing in the right places taurus also does rule the second house which talks about your material wealth your your personal income and your personal um let's say properties so i feel like all of that is expanding it's good to see for your general energy, we have the Page of Pentacles, Eesh, we have the Three of Swords and we have the Page of Wands, we have two pages, interesting. There is a very beginner's spirit here, beginning something afresh. I wonder why the Three of Swords is here though. Oh, oh, we have the Devil. We have the seven of wands and we have the four of cups. Wow. All right. I feel with the page of pentacles and the page of wands, whatever this energy was, whoever this person was who was coming towards you, if this is in relation to love or family affairs or even at work, this could be somebody younger to you. This could be someone who is a little less experienced. It could also be somebody who is trying to one-up you. They're coming about with a very toxic energy with the devil card. And I feel like this person keeps coming at you over and over and over again. And I feel like some of you are just like, I don't want to deal with this. With the four of cups. You're just walking away from this kind of energy that could potentially cause you pain. Yeah, five of swords, the shortcut to success card, someone this could very well be at work and the fool, though I don't usually get a foolish energy from the fool, but I'm getting it here. I feel like this is a very immature person, very, very immature person who is trying to um, almost compete with you, even though they're not experienced enough to, you know what I mean? seven of cups yeah it's it's leading to a lot of confusion you have to remember this is just 10 days this is not the rest of your life and it's not going to resonate for everyone i feel that a younger more immature energy is trying to cause strife and confusion in your life and it's almost like you're walking away from this you're not even letting them affect you 
page, another page, page of cups. Who is this person? I need more. Knight of Pentacles. Whoever this is, they will grow up. But it's going to take a while. It's going to take a long while for them to mature. Could be dealing with somebody at work. Eight of Wands. What is this communication? The magician. You may be becoming a mentor to somebody. And I feel like you, you see the potential in them. But you're just like, when is this person going to grow up? When is this person going to start showing the potential that I see in them? That's what I'm getting here. I'm also getting for some of you, you may be expanding your work. You may be traveling to do so. And I feel like this is a very opportune time for you to cultivate that. Very strange general energy, I have to admit, Leo. Let's move to career. Let's see. We have the King of Cups, the Sun. There you are. And we have the Six of Cups. This is an energy of something from the past, something that brought you a lot of growth in the past, coming back around for another look. I feel like your intuition is telling you to uh, almost delve deeper into this with the King of Cups. I feel like you have a lot of patience when it comes to whatever this is and um, it's almost like there are happy memories attached to this. Oh, we have the Five of Wands, the Star, and the Eight of Cups. All right, I get it. I get it. At the workplace, I feel like the people that you used to work with, there was a lot of strife. There was a lot of arguments. There was competition when it came to this and this immature energy that I'm talking about doesn't necessarily have to be like a person you are training uh, it could just be an employee sorry about that someone was at the door so I was saying this could have been an employee or a colleague someone that you worked with who brought about a lot of conflict in your environment and I feel like they were almost hampering your growth with the star and the sun together something that you wished for it's like they were causing a wrench in the works for you and with the eight of cups you're very lovingly <laughs> uh, walking away from this energy so that you can nurture yourself the king of wands yeah you're taking control you're taking control you are sitting in your power these are both your cards, Leo, the sun and the king of wands. I feel like you are being very authentic with yourself right now. And you're not giving your energy away very freely to people who don't deserve it. Sorry for shaking the camera. I'm in a very uncomfortable position right now. I need to settle myself better. Anyway, um, the five of wands is a very mediocre energy. It's nothing super strong. It's not something that can upturn your life completely. With the Seven of Wands showing up in your general energy and the Five of Wands showing up here, I feel like you are being very sensitive to these people who are coming about with this conflict and you are dismissing this energy in a very graceful way. All right, let's get to love. I don't want to say too much because it's just 10 days for crying out loud. Oh, interesting. We have the moon, we have the queen of pentacles, and we have the tower. There was a shake up here. Could be a good shake up, could be a bad shake up. It could be an argument, yes. It doesn't have to be the ending of something. It could be the transformation of something. With the queen of pentacles, you are nurturing and protecting yourself. You could even be doing so for a child if there is a child involved in this situation. With the moon card though, there is some kind of secret, some kind of fear, something that is hidden. I want to clarify. Seven of Swords, yeah. Secrets. Someone uh, who always has one foot out the door. Somebody who is not dependable or reliable. It is a card of lying, cheating, stealing. 
someone may have been lying to you and i feel like all of that is coming to the light and you have entered protective mode protecting yourself and your energy three of pentacles i don't usually talk about third parties but there could be an energy of another person interfering in your relationship this could be a friend it could be a family member uh but somebody who didn't have the best intentions for this relationship the world putting an end to this nonsense you're putting an end to this nonsense ace of cups new beginning wow that was quick <laughs> I will talk about this a little more. Give me a minute. Ten of Pentacles. Wow, stunning energy. Judgment. Yeah. Okay. I am getting that when you clear your slate, when you clean up what is not serving you, when you walk away from this energy of the devil and people working behind your back and people lying to you and people just keeping things from you and not having your best interest at heart. I feel like that is when true transformation can begin. You can finally close out that chapter knowing very well that you've learned whatever it is that you needed to learn from this and walk away. I just dropped a couple of cards. I need a few more here because that's a massive leap. The Ace of Cups, the 10 of Pentacles and the Judgment card. I do feel that with the judgment card it can talk about a return from the past but for me the judgment card talks more about the universe passing a judgment it talks about your karma being written as well as someone else's i feel that whoever this person is that you dealt with they are getting what they deserve oh wow with the lovers there is a new start in love I don't know if this is with the same person who betrayed you or it is with somebody new but whatever new start this is it is like you are planting the seed now you're planting the seed for this to grow this is not going to happen in 10 days you're not going to reach the 10 of pentacles in 10 days but I do feel like you're on the right path you're on the right track the empress because you're focusing on you five of cups no pity parties though focus on you pour all that love into you and i feel like all of the, all of that love will come back tenfold i'm also getting the ace of cups could just mean self love it could mean you nurturing yourself protecting yourself as i said with the queen of pentacles don't manifest from a place of lack we have the four of wands i strongly feel that there is somebody coming in who can bring your heart joy and they are coming in very quickly because we have the chariot at the bottom cancer energy focus on yourself make your spirit grow feed your soul and i feel like whatever judgment is passed is going to be in your favor if this is also a legal situation i feel like um things are going to go in your favor i strongly feel that all right let's get a couple of tea leaves to close off the reading older man dealings or relationship with an older man take that how it resonates months we have february we have pisces as well you could very well be dealing with a pisces um or something may have transpired in february that almost put you in this mentality of i just want to say no i just want to create boundaries and just walk away from this we have handshake a meeting with a stranger could be important keep that in mind especially when it comes to work I feel like somebody may be coming about with an opportunity not with the same energy that you've been dealing with so far but something refreshing. And when it comes to love I feel like some of you may very well be beat, meeting somebody brand new. We have scales keep your life in balance. Libra energy. I feel that if you've been putting too much energy into work and dealing with so much conflict you may need to start focusing on you a little more creating that work life balance. 
and when it comes to love i also feel that don't lower your standards make sure someone whoever it is you're dealing with is meeting you halfway and you're not doing all the work battle you feel something is lacking in your life perhaps love money or goals what did i say don't throw yourself any pity parties here do not operate from that mentality of lack you have the magician card make sure you are vibing high and your energy is soaring only once you manifest from a high frequency is when that can get mirrored back to you moon changes in your life the moon showed up here again oh wow all right we do have a full moon in libra happening on the 16th and i feel like that is going to create that balance whatever has been lacking whatever has been hidden and unbalanced i feel like bringing that into harmony is going to be um in the conscience of the collective as a whole relationships will start thriving yo yeah, good news plain and simple there will be good news coming in all right leo i hope this helped you guys um enjoy the rest of april i will see you next time